Hey guys, I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports, and this is our Rascal Mini Bike Frame Kit. You perfect. In this kit, you get the Rascal frame, the front end, handlebars, a rear tire and wheel, a front tire and wheel. You have the gas tank, the axles and kingpin bolt, the gas tank mount hardware, clutch, chain, brake disc, sprocket, kill switch, you have foot peg grips and the handlebar grips, and then the handlebar risers, custom mini bike seat in black, black and silver, or black and white, hydraulic brake assembly kit, sticker kit, first thing we're going to do is check this neck for burrs. When you drive these bushings in the neck, they need to be free of any kind of sharp edge. Also check the surface where your bushings are going to mate. Make sure there's no burrs or anything from the welding on those surfaces. We like to use the, the kingpin bolt to help drive in the bushings. Just hold the bottom one centered. Once you get the bushings in, then we can slide on the front end. In the kit you have three washers. If there's play between the front end and the bushings on the neck tube, you can add a washer to the top or bottom. But this one is good and tight. So you'll put a washer on the top. washer and nut on the bottom. To tighten this neck bolt, you're gonna need two three quarter inch wrenches. Next up is the front wheel assembly. We have the front wheel, the axle, both spacers, and the nut. You will need a 19 or 3 quarter inch wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench. These wheels do have a crush sleeve. So you can get this axle pretty tight. On the brake disc side of the wheel, you put on the spacer first, then the disc, and then your six, six millimeter bolts. Then 
Then we're gonna slide the wheel into place with the rear end jacked up and put in the axle with the first spacer. Next up we have the kickstand so we can get this thing off blocks. You're going to take out the cotter pin. Next up is the spring. I like to hook it on the bottom of the kickstand first. This is the chain roller. It has two bearings and a crush sleeve on the inside. Put your bolt through. Then you have a flat washer that rides up against the slot. And then your lock washer, which will ride up against the inner race of this bearing. Then on the other side, lock washer and nut. To tighten this, you will need a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. We're just gonna leave that hand tight for now, and then once we get our motor and chain on, we can adjust the chain. Rubber foot grips, these go on either side of this part of the frame. Next up, we're gonna put on the ape hangers. We have these risers. In this riser kit, you have two tops, which are recessed here for the flanged bolt. And then the bottoms are flat and they're also taller. All right, now we're gonna dress out the front end. We're gonna do the twist throttle and grips, the brake and the kill switch. We'll start with the twist throttle. Take out these Allen screws. I'm going to thread the housing onto the cable. Pop in the guide. the barrel into the grip.
Now the kill switch we're going to put on the left hand side in between the brake and the grip. Now to bolt on the brake caliper I like to put this bottom spacer and bolt in get it started. And then line up that first hole. Once you get that bolt started, put in the spacer for the rear bolt. Next up we're going to put on the top plate, the gas tank, the gas tank mounts, and the clamps to hang the tank. So we're going to start by putting the top plate lined up with the holes. The bolts in. Now these hangers, we're going to point these tabs backwards. We're just going to get them finger tight for now. And then after we get the tank hung and centered, this front spot is slotted so you can move it left or right. So after we get the tank in here and everything all centered up, we can tighten these up at the very end. Next step is hang the tank. Okay, tank, the cap is centered in this slot for the top plate. Top plate is centered on the frame. Last step is tighten these up. On this rear bracket that runs across the frame, not only does it add strength, also it's an alternative tank mount if you want your tank hung in the rear of the bike. Also, we have a fender bracket that you can bolt here and then uh, drill holes in a fender and mount, mount a fender on this rascal. Next step up is the seat. First, you're gonna get it set on the frame where you want it. And you're looking for kind of flush all the way around. This top plate's designed to come up right to the front of the seat. So once you got it in place, Go ahead and mark your holes. Once the holes are marked, you're going to use a quarter inch drill bit. Once you have your pilot holes started, I like to go in and get some threads already set in there. Makes it a lot easier to assemble. The last few parts that come in the Rascal kit is the Go Power Sports chain guard, 420 chain, and a 420 clutch, three quarter bore. An engine does not come standard in the kit, but that gives you an option to put on whatever engine you want. We're going to put those on our Tillotson 212 engine. We're gonna run this completely stock to show you how it fits. So we're gonna take this remote tank back off, keep this stock tank on, and then we'll get it running. Looks good.
This rascal looks jacked. Jacked R13. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to get this chain close to tight. We'll do our final adjustment with the chain roller and we're going to push our engine all the way to the right in the slots. That will ensure that it's perfectly in line with the axle hanger and the sprocket and everything's going to jive together. That's about the tension you want. When you're running a brand new chain, it is going to stretch. So here, you're looking for about 3 8 to half inch plate up or down on the chain. We're going to take off this stock air box, get the throttle cable hooked up, get the kill switch hooked up to the front of the engine, and then we'll tidy up all the lines. What I like to do on these Makuni cables is keep the cylinder on the end Sometimes it goes right through this fitting, other times you'll have to drill it out. But that just helps a lot when you tighten up the screw on the cable, it's definitely not going to pull out. Now we're going to hook up the kill switch. These Tillotsons already have a ground on them for the stock kill switch. If you have an engine that does not have that, you can ground it right here on this shroud bolt. Just put it in between the shroud and the block. Don't put it on the outside because sometimes the paint or the powder coat won't ground it. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the ground on top of this existing. Your kill switch already has the correct end on it. You just plug it right into the engines. Now we're gonna tidy up all the lines, get it started, and... Now we're gonna tidy up all the lines, take it outside, and get it cranked up. Thanks for watching. That sums up our Go Power Sports Rascal Mini Bike Kit. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, in the next video, we're going to tear this thing down. We're going to get the frame and all the components powder coated, and we're going to get it ready for the paint swap meet. Thanks for watching.